So sunburn is a really, really the most visual way that you'll ever see that your body has a defense against cancer. So if you're a lighter skin coloration, you've got a higher risk of sun damage. And that's because there's no melanin in your skin to absorb those UV radiation. So what happens if you get sunburn? Two days later, roughly, uh, your skin will start to peel. Now, that's actually a really interesting process. That's an anti-cancer process. It's mass suicide of your skin cells. So the skin cells, what's actually happened is they've had a massive dose of DNA damage, and there's a protein in them called uh, the guardian angel protein, or P53. And what that does is it actually sets off a timer, a clock, within each one of your skin cells, and, and gives that skin cell a chance to repair that genetic damage. And if it doesn't repair that genetic damage, it tells the skin cell to commit suicide. And, and that's really a potent mechanism of stopping skin cancer and probably melanomas as well. Uh, so skin can, uh, if you peel, you've had an awful lot of damage to your skin. Now, why do we get skin cancer if we have this method of getting rid of it? Just imagine, right, we, we've got a gene called the guardian angel gene, or P53. When you get sun damage, what happens if that sun damage kills the gene, the P53 gene? Okay, you might lose one copy uh, at one point of your life, and when you're a teenager, say, you go out and you don't put sun cream on, and you lose the second copy. That cell can't commit suicide anymore, so there's a real chance that that will be driven towards a cancer at some point in your, in your life. Uh, so um, if you get peeling skin, just take it as a real warning that you've just really risked <laughs> developing a skin cancer.